Hello all, this video is on the solution to the SSH access denied with the Raspberry Pi's 2022 operating system Bullseye. If you try if you are trying to log in headlessly using the Putty SSH client using the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and if you are using the default username Pi and the password Raspberry the access is denied now. So the default username and password are no longer valid for the Raspberry Pi's uh, operating system Bullseye. If you are writing the image using uh, Win32 Disk Imager or Balino Etcher, the default username is not valid. So you have to use this uh, Pi Imager, Raspberry Pi Imager software. Using this software, you can uh, create a user, set up Wi-Fi, enable SSH, and you can configure uh, to flash your memory card. So, Balina Etcher and Win32 Disk Imager cannot be used to write the image. So, go to the official website and download the Pi Imager, Raspberry Pi Imager software. There are two options to write the image. First is by using the internet and access the Raspberry Pi server online and second one is the, uh, downloading any one of the image from the official website. If you scroll down you can see a list of uh, uh, images straight from the light version to the as well as the full desktop version. You can download any one of the image. Now open the Raspberry Pi image and then click on choose OS. To write down the downloaded image, click on use custom and then scroll down to select the downloaded image. And if you want to use the server online, you can straight away select any one of the OS, uh, Raspberry Pi full 32 bit or light version, any one of the image you can select and then click on choose storage. Once you choose the storage, that is the SD card you, can, you have to choose. Once the you choose the storage, you can see a setting icon at the bottom. Only, only after selecting the storage device, you can see the settings. Now you have to set the host name and then you can enable SSH for headless operation. After that, you can set the username and password, preferred username and password. For example, I am just showing the uh, the default Pi and uh, Raspberry Pi password. You can see the password is encrypted. Next, you can configure the wireless LAN. You can uh, give your SSID to which you want to connect, auto connect to your Raspberry Pi, and then provide the SSID's password. So, auto connect is also possible using this Pi Imager. Next, you have to give the wireless LAN country and time zone settings. Finally, save the setting and then click on write. Now the image is being written on the SD card. So it will take some time depending on your uh, uh, internet speed if you are using the server option. And finally it will verify. Once the image is written you can uh, remove the SD card and uh, play, plug it onto your Raspberry Pi. Open the putty and then provide the IP address to open it. Now you can feed in your uh, username and password. So now you can uh, access the Raspberry Pi. You can give IF config and you can see the IP address is allotted. So Wi Fi is also auto connected. Thank you for watching.